Oh, there we go. Red knowing the hotkeys to unmute himself. <laughs> no one can stop Red from doing comms. No one. So we got some winner semis here. Plats the penis. Everyone hates Yoshi. Why is he playing Yoshi for? I know. Why do we have two Yoshis in Sheffield? I'm, I actually really like this fans come back to Ness. I don't know if it's... Uh... Oh, did they go the other way? Nice spot. Yeah, because obviously like for the first few weeks Span came here he was playing Wario like every oh, every that week. Was really nice there from Alan. Um, he sort of baited Span doing an option out of there so he held shield. Mm. Span broke out with Nair and just off him dead. Yeah. I mean both these characters are gonna be doing that Nair out of shield. Yeah. They're both stupidly good, but I don't know which one's better. So I don't I'd know say which one's Yeah. Yoshi's is faster. And I think Yoshi's is bigger despite Ness's sidekick. So I think it might last longer as well because like Ness does that quick spin, but Yoshi's shoe stays out for like an eternity. Yeah, both of them are very similar. If you think about it, though, they can kill. I mean, obviously Ness is killing a lot earlier. Yeah. But they both the weak kick is really good for tech situations, and obviously both of them are pretty good in that sort of situation. Oh, he went for it again. That was exactly the same as how it happened last time. Let's see if Spam seems to be struggling to get in now, though. Ellis is doing a really good job. I think last time they played Spam beat Ellis, because that's what we were talking about in the seeding, whether the, which of these two should be like higher. Uh, and I think we Ellis just walking up and tilting. Still ahead. living. Um, yeah, so there's a debate on who's going to win. I think it was based on Spam beating uh, Ellis last time they played, but. Like Ellis has been doing well recently, so we put Ellis like, but these are pretty much the exact same seed. Yeah, we're seeing. That's yeah. be really really he's having his revenge. He's playing so much better than he was against Harry on the stream earlier, where it's just like his play just felt really rusty. But then, as we were saying on the stream, when he was playing, when Ellis has the lead, he plays stupidly well. When Ellis is behind, he starts smash attacking in neutral. And it, it's as long as he finds that balance where he. I mean, for now, he sh you know he should relatively be fine. He's got the lead. He should be playing good, Ellis. Don't worry, I sharpened him up. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Well, this is this is what happens when you play against Red. Yeah. Up there, slamming through the platform. Every time Richard played me in bracket, he's won the tournament. So that's because of me. Yeah, yeah. Apart from that time, I always know that. I got it. I always win tournaments. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> there was never. A I've won every melting point ever. Yeah, you've never had a drinks tag. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see how Spam is going to bring this back. That was a nice down tilt to grab. Yeah, so I think, it looks like it. yeah this, this is my fault. I complimented Ellis saying he, sh he should never. Yeah, but I mean, we were saying that, oh, Ellis plays so well with the lead, and then. Spam's having none of that. He he wants this. He I, wants his revenge. That's not going to yeah. kill yet. But again, I, I mean, it's close. Ness's back throw is ridiculous. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Is it? that was really important because the egg just went over his head and didn't knock him out of a. Uh, oh. Oh, he's still alright. Because again, in the last set of Spam played, he had an unfortunate air dodge that led to his death. So I thought it was a, a replay of that, but managing to come back with that jump. Yeah, I mean, um, I think what you said about Ellis playing well with the lead, it's still getting shown right now. Yeah, I think, uh, I swear, maybe it's not Ellis is good with the lead. He's good when the person he's playing against is between 0 and 90%. He, he's There's good when he can hold advantage because he's really good, and Yoshi's really good at keeping advantage. Yeah, the second that, that his opponent gets to a kill percent, it's just like, he just stops thinking and just throws out kill options. But you see nice, like nice backer though. though. Yeah, yeah, Double backer taking out. Of he's spamming out the backer back. ledge is so good. Yeah, he's, he's so spamming hard. out these kill options. He's like, he's not wasn't so much like waiting for this roll in. He did one back air, missed it, and just did another one, hoping that it would work. And it's like that thing where he's just sitting there and he's throwing it. You know, the person is at kill percent. I need to throw out kill moves mm. instead of playing that that neutral game that he has that is so solid. But with Yoshi, you can do that with backer. Yeah, ledge. it is very. Yeah, good. he has safe options and it's fine. But but it, it the fact that Spam nearly bought that game back, like he was on the road to bring in that back but I think that just goes with what you said like 
He's good at 24 on me, but that's because he's good when he pushes advantage. Yeah. And he forced the opponent to play his game. The second the opponent starts playing their game, I try to press the struggle. Yeah, I don't know where he is. But... Oh, he's there. Hello. Can you play Lewis? Jab block for, uh, well not jab block, uh, protection. Yeah. Just gonna tank through that pull there from there. Ooh. That had a spike there. Yeah, managed, managed not to get the spike hitbox there, but he's still in that ledge trap situation, but he's been put off stage. He put himself off stage, which... Yeah, I mean, I, we, I was speaking to Ellis and Yoshi's options for putting neutral gal are really limited, like Nair's the best one. I need yeah. to do it drifting forward like that. Because but I Nair, Nair off stage is amazing, but whenever I see Ellis do it, he does it uh, like he double jumps then does it, so if he does get caught out, he dies. Whereas if he just went off with Nair, I don't mean, I'm not the Yoshi expert, and he's going to tell me, like, if I say that to his face, he'll probably be like, what the hell do you think you're doing? When he watches his back, he'll just get a message going, what the, what the hell do you think you're doing? You're, you, I can't Nair with a single jump. I need to double jump there. That bear harass. Yeah, shield, I swear that shield poke as well, the amount he was doing on that shield. Because they're multi hits and they're really active. Like they're not like multi hits which have a few active yeah. frames here and there. Uh, no, I'm taking it yet. And I think the thing I took the most is when I can play myself with Ellis is he was landing with back air and down air and I couldn't punish it. Yeah. And then, so I forced his run and reset neutral. But then he chased that with an egg or with an air. That, that's what I, like, I find the Ocean Measure part is you need to know what, what you can punish and when you can punish it. Because yeah. if you don't, he's just going to keep pushing buttons at you and just yeah. snowball it. Like, I mean, we've seen this now, like snowballing with that, that up air. He, he, was, he was about 50 or 60% down a second ago, and all of a sudden, I mean. Yeah, these six he's yeah. a. Uh, I mean, he taught me this in terms of mashing out of egg and air dodging down the ground, like Spam's doing it, but Ellis is aware that's a t like a tactic, so he saw him do it in the f like, last game, he's, and then this game punishing for it with a tech chase. And the, the thing is, it is actually really important to mix up out of egg. Like, I find the one that Ellis punishes the least is jump out of egg, but. When yeah. he has punished it too against me, I've lost the stock, so it's... Oh, he's gonna die though. Yeah. I, I was thinking one egg and then air dodge, and he did two. And... I, mean, I don't know, I don't know how Yoshi was, but it's like he was so close to the ledge, he just never grabbed it. But this... Well, it's because he kept egging, and you can't yeah. grab the ledge in the end like he Because the other thing, good thing about Ellis is when he watches his sets back, and he hears me criticizing his downbeat usage. He just goes, it's safe, I didn't get punished. He didn't get punished. So, like, he respawned there, ran in, did a downbeat. It didn't work, but he didn't get punished, therefore it was a fine downbeat. Because if it had worked, he would have got the kill. He's back, back air's coming in crutch for uh, Ellis right now. Yeah, I mean, he's got, like, half the stock that he's taken so far, at least with back air. I mean, it is one of Josh's best moves. Oh, yeah, it's a it's stupidly not good his move. Best kill move. It's between that and up smash, I think. I mean, downbeat Ellis makes it look like a good kill move, but. Mm. Uh, just yeah, Spam not having any of it this game, like, angry from the last game, but he, he's calling out a lot of Ellis's aggressive options yeah, with, like, his, strong, his, his own strong areas. Yeah, and he's also calling out with PK Fire a lot, Ellis's language, yeah. I, I have a feeling... That <laughs> was so close to knocking him out yeah. of the double jump. <laughs> I have uh, a feeling that Spam is going to get him with a Nest back air at this point. Uh, not a Nest back air, it's a uh, PK Fire back air. Because that's a really strong option, and he has no jump. He has no jump, but he's back, back, he's on, stage. back on stage. That down B, but the star Ow. was gonna save him there. He's so like, like that, if that. If that star was shielded, that's like an easy go. But yeah, we're at the point where Spam, Spam was fishing for those grabs because he knows the back is gonna finish it. But in the meantime, Nair's coming out. Nair's coming out. We talked about out, how yeah. good a kill option that Nair is for Ness. So. Yeah, we just the end, of, the end of that game is just non-stop Spam chasing uh, passes a great like. Defensive, defensive options. options, he's trying to get back to stage and he's just yeah. like... Uh, Pat's trying to mix up his recovery, came back with like an aggressive egg lay to try and get back on the stage, but Spam just jumped, went above it, landed with an air, put him back off stage again. Say game one dominant for uh, for Platts. Game two dominant for Spam. Ignoring uh, Platts' SD with the uh, double egg throw. Yeah. But bo both players so far they've just been like 
kind of explosive each other. They, got, they both get hit by each other's combos, and then there's a pause, and then the other person has their turn of doing their own, like, 70% string. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then it just becomes on whose kill option is going to hit first as they both back air out of shield. I was playing a lot safer this game. I think he yeah, he's, he's really slowed it down. Yeah. I think, but that, as I say, between 0% and 90%, Ellis's gameplay sodded. Like, slow yeah. gameplay, re good reads, good options. Um, I mean, so it's I'm get the at the moment. It's yeah, these are these aggressive options. It's mainly the down airs he's getting punished for. And down air is a really good landing option because it's almost unpunishable. I'm sure next air uh, will be able so to punish it. My next comment was he's, he's landing with aggressive options and Spam's getting away with shielding. And so if Ellis doesn't start doing egg lay soon, he's just got, like Spam's going to run away with it. And immediately, he oh. Tries to stall out his recovery, but with the yo-yo hanging him below, by the time yeah, he gets back... Really yeah, I mean, that I was fully was charged. Yeah, was, yeah, completely fully charged, but... His back air's coming out again. Ooh, there's, the there's the Nair, with there's the, the double jump Nair. So this is him going, look, double jump Nair does work. I mean, Stop criticizing me. It's easier to line up your aerials if you go off and then jump. Yeah, because he, go, he goes off without jumping to tr see what that person's going to, like, see what his opponent's going to do, and then use double jump to try and punish it. But. Yeah, because if you go off and you're drifting at the same height as them, they're in big trouble. Yeah. If they jump, they die. If they do nothing, they die. So, I mean, you um, see MK Leo using that a lot with them back there. I don't know. Yeah, we've seen, like, as you commented earlier, these aggressive, he's non-stop aggressing that, like, aggressive with aggressive landings. And he's taken, he's taken 70% for it. Yeah, this, these aggressive options haven't worked once this stop, but he's yeah, taken 70% for it. So yeah, he's down it, but he takes no percent, he runs away, resets neutral once again. So he's not, he's not finding, Spam isn't finding the option out of shield for these no. down airs, but he's also taking no percent. Yeah, because he's spacing fair safely. And Ellis is going for that neutral air every time, but that's uh, what you want against Yoshi. You're trying to bait up that air actually. Yeah. It's such a good option. So, Pat's good choosing aggressive option after aggressive option. Sounds kind of caught on to this nature. No shield is just. Ooh, that could be. Oh, oh, if he had got that no, he got the read, just the, the bit rushing timing. <laughs> like, it's like. Doing so, forward air right now, and that crap oh my god. That was just non stop for. I, I like how. When, when Platts chooses an option, he commits to that option and will do it repeatedly yeah. because it will just keep working. Whether it's down B, whether it's fair, whether it's back air or down air, like he just chooses one option and goes, this is, this is the booth that I'm going to use this stuff. Yeah. And suddenly, like, we went from Spam just completely dominating this game, but the second yeah. Spam was put in disadvantage, Platts just kind of ran away with these aggressive, like, his aggressive options that hadn't been working until that point. The yeah. second Spam was in disadvantage, picking these panic options, trying to just get reset neutral again. Um, Pats could just run away with it. I think forward air is Josh's best area to the game. I'm so annoyed that worked. That wasn't a bait. That, that was him being being Platts and choosing an aggressive option. Up, and he chose the first aggressive option and it didn't work. So he chose another aggressive option and it did work. No, I think he did option. I'm sure I'll find that in, in the chat tomorrow where he's like, well, actually, at this point in the game where... <laughs> But I knew that up smash was safe from that distance, therefore I could down B for free, even though if he shielded down B, he was dead. It's like one wolf to X smash down smash. Yeah, but that's actually safe. <laughs> Most of the, like, in a lot of situations, that's safe. Down B isn't safe. Well, if a wolf is sitting there going up smash, up smash, up smash, it's hard to punish. But if a Yoshi down B is in front of you and you shield it, that's a punish. Especially when you're at 120% or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's back though. He was doing it so towards the next. If he had a if Spam had a shield, he would have got a back kill. Yeah. Josh is dead, I don't care how heavy he is. But no, we're seeing like a, a mirror image of Ooh, the beginning was, of Stock 2 now, where yeah. Spam's managed to get on the ground, get these shield, like get his shield back up, and then punish these aggressive options that we're seeing from Platts once more. Yeah, for sure. There you go, so Nair, like... He's being because it's, out shield. They're both just yeah. doing Nair's out of shield, but with Spam's air mobility, he's just like, he goes out, or like the lingering hits, it'll do a move, and then just fade away. That was a nice move. Because he's not pressured. Spam shield much when oh. he's This could be it. This no, no, he, yeah, he's too far away to air dodge. He had to up B then. Oh, this is gonna be it. No, the no, no, no. It, it. It, Kalos, he, he isn't going for it. Yeah. He needs that like, one more grab and it's done. But Pat's on his last lifeline after doing an aggressive down B once more at Kilpus then. Yeah. We're gonna see how Spam's just gonna run away and PK Pat. Yeah, yeah. I don't blame him. That's why he hit this tag. That's why he. That's what you do. No, he's always been winning the game, right? With, yeah. with Ellis non-stop doing these aggressive options. This is going to be it, I think. Game. 
Spam just had to wait. It was a waiting game at that point. Spam was just happy to wait. Wait that out. Wait for the wait for Ellis to pick the wrong aggressive option. Yeah. To punish it. And that's going to be two one, and that's going to put Spam into loser semis, I believe. Yeah, but first up, it's me and Luke finally. These things are also general scales. Yeah, I'm going to. I've got one. 